Hey, welcome family. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Missy and we are thrifting today at Goodwill. I love to go thrifting and I love to take you all along with me. Well, in today's video, we have a lot to get to. I have packed my cart full, piled it up high, overflowed it, filled it completely, and I am so excited. So we are going to see lots of fall and Halloween decor, lots of everyday decor. There is so much happening in this video today. I find an in search of item, something that's been on my bucket list that I have really, really wanted to find. So I cannot wait to share that with you. Plus I share a before and after of an item. I have been talking about wanting to do thrift flips and crafts and you're going to see a before and after of one of the items that I pick up today as well as my haul plus there's a blooper in this video and the gentleman gave me permission to share it in the video this day in Goodwill so no worries about that but many of you ask is it hard to film in these stores and to get thumbnails and Yes, it can be very difficult, and especially on this day, it was super busy in the Goodwill. It was on a Saturday, and you are going to see in this video what can happen when you are filming in these stores. So let's go ahead and get into the shopping trip today. There are lots of chicken items in this video today, so of course that makes my chicken loving heart super happy. And these were the first of a couple of pieces, well the first of several pieces that I found today. These were $6.99 a piece, and I did love that there was a pair of them, and I love that old rusty, worn looking metal. I don't look too much at the lamps when I am in the thrift store. I really don't have a lot of room in my home for lamps. And in the areas that I do, I already have some great chicken lamps. But I thought these ones were neat and I like the fact that they were matching because a lot of times I don't see pairs of lamps that are both in really good shape. And so I thought it was great that they had this cute little set right here on this end cap. And then I did really like this sign right here. It was 
really simple. I love you to the moon and back and I'm going to use this for something really neat. Now I see this tag right here that says $8.99 and I just now noticed when I was editing this video that it had another tag on it. I don't know what that tag said. Maybe it was $5.99 and I cannot tell you if I paid $8.99 or $5.99. We're just going to go with the $8.99, but that is one of the items that I brought home. And I brought it home specifically for Halloween decor. And I'm going to chat with you a little bit later about what I mean by that. So what is going on with all of you out there? Are you having a good month so far? A good September? I love the Burr months. Have you done anything awesome? Have you gone on a little trip, gone to a fall festival, a craft show, picked up something that you really enjoyed and just wanted to talk about it? I would love to hear about it down in the comments. I love chatting with all of you. I love hearing about what's going on in your world as we go on this journey through YouTube together. This swan was a really big, beautiful piece. It was really interesting, had not seen anything like it before. I did go ahead and leave it here though because it is so large. Um, I will not use it in my home, but if it was, even if it was a chicken, I don't really know how I would store it or keep it. So I did leave it here. It was really beautiful. I did see that somebody else had it in their cart at one point and they put it back. And I'm wondering if that's kind of why, because it was a really large piece. Um, I hope somebody though picks it up and really loves it because it was just a really, really beautiful piece. You see it? It's right here. Yeah. But what side's easier to get it off? I don't know. 
Yeah, it's a black tree down there. Mm -hmm. It's a black tree. Huh? Especially it's a black tree. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I wonder how much it is. Does it say on the box? Oh, it's only $14.99. $14.99. And it's got lights? Hold on. Easy setup. Six and a half feet. Yeah. Pretty strong lights. Yeah. I wonder if it works, but if not, that's still okay. Yeah. It's okay. I, just, I didn't want to bend down and drag that out of there. wanted to say today thank you so much to all of you who come back every day or every time that I release a video I really do appreciate it and I wanted to say thank you as well to any new people that we have here that are just clicking on this video and thought they might give it a try and watch it I really appreciate you being here I know there are tons and tons of videos on YouTube and you only have so much time so for you to spend some of it here with me and take a chance on me a smaller channel I really appreciate it and I am so very happy that you are here today and I really hope that you enjoy the video I really wanted to take a chance on these pictures. I thought that they were great, but they were $7.29 each, and I thought that was really high for me to pick up to put in my booth, especially as we're getting into later in the fall time and Halloween. Maybe if I would have seen them in early or mid-August, I would have picked them up. It would have given me some more time to maybe sell them in my booth. But honestly, I don't know if I could sell them for much more than that when they're already marked at $7.29. But they were super nice. I know I mentioned at the beginning how busy it was here at this Goodwill. This is an example of how busy it was. I simply grabbed that off the shelf and started walking. It was insanely busy, like crazy busy. We tried to go through the aisles and then everything would get busy. And you want to try to be, you know, respectful when you're recording because other people are trying to look and it takes a little bit of time to film. And so we went circles and circles back and forth through the aisles to try to look at everything to record some things it was just so busy i mean i'm glad to see it busy but wow it was really busy here this day i've even turned this chicken here into another basket because hubby was off with the cart to just try to keep it out of the way a little bit Don't go anywhere. I have that blooper coming up for you of what can happen when you're filming and doing thumbnails in the Goodwill. And I have my haul for you and so much more. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. It's all coming up. $9.99. $9.99? Yep. What does it look like when you open it? It's got a little tray. Does the tray come out? I'm just thinking like for Christmas it might be nice to put something in it. Okay. And then paint something on the front.
Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, oh, I can't believe they just, uh... So I'm so sorry. No, it's Did okay. I ruin your video? Yes, but it's Oh, fine. I'm so sorry. No. I was like, this is pretty nice to be yeah. here. At <laughs> first, I thought it was like a prop. Right, right. You know, it's like, no, that's my video. No. <laughs> oh, what, what do you do, YouTube? Yes. Oh, so what are you yes. doing? A story about uh, bargains? I, I, yes, I do. Video, oh, that's so lips, cool. Totally cool. Oh, so, sorry I ruined no, no, no. your I apologize. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this haul and what I decided to bring home today. You saw my cart was completely overflowing again. Second time in a row, I've gone to Goodwill and found so many good things. So let's go ahead and get into what I got. First thing I got was this stein right here. This was hubby's find of the day. Actually, it says Germany on the bottom. I'm not sure yet if I will put this in my booth or if I will save this and turn it into like a craft project. Secondly, I picked up this guy, but you saw the before of this guy. Here is the after. So I have done a redo on him. I have painted him orange, distressed him, added some leaves and some twine to the top, and I also am going to put a candle. He's kind of open on the bottom, so sit him down over a candle, but isn't he just the cutest, and he looks so different um, compared to how I purchased him, so he will be getting set up in my booth shortly. Next up, I did grab this huge sign that says, I love you to the moon and back. This is actually going to go in the bedroom for Halloween. I'm doing a witch theme in there. Um, so kind of think outside the box. I'm doing the moon and back because of course the witch. And I thought this would be a really neat piece to add into my decor in there for Halloween. They did have several of the blue transferware pieces and I grabbed a couple of them for my spring summer decor. So I got one of the bowls, one of the larger bowls, one of the plates, one of the teacup sets. And I thought these were adorable. And like I said, I just grabbed one of each. And what I really loved about these, and I'm not sure if you could see from the footage, but right here, there is a little lady with chicken. So that of course sold me. Also, the blue is so beautiful. Now these two chickens here, these blue salt and pepper shakers, I snatched these up to either use in my spring summer decor with my blue transfer wear or to put them in my booth. I haven't decided yet. I try to stick with just the red and white chickens or else it gets overwhelming. Either way, they were super adorable. This beautiful little acorn is something I will put in my booth. It has a little opening here on the bottom that twists out. Let's see if I can do that for you. Oh, there we go. It comes out and I'm actually going to put a tea light in here. Put this into my booth. I think it is really pretty. It could really go with that beautiful moody fall decor. Either way, you could keep it out for Halloween too. It's kind of got like that branchy, eerie look to it. So. Something that I thought was a really neat find and are going to go in my booth are all of these little silhouette pictures. So I got this one here. I'm not sharing the prices of everything because you will have already seen them in the shopping footage. Here is another one. This one says something gasser, age five, 1940. Third one in the frame, silhouette of Grace and Gasser about 1930 and then the largest one here. So I think I will put all of these in my booth in kind of like a little set and maybe tie some twine around them or some ribbon. This was for me, snatch this up so quickly. I love the chickens on here. And then of course it has a little pumpkin there on the side. So totally fall Halloween feeling. It did have some chipping up here. I'll show that to you in some other footage. A little before and after I took a little paint pen and fixed that right up. This is going to be so much fun. Um, I believe this is for like your Walmart bags or something like that. We use those all of the time with our kitties. Grab this up so quickly. I was going to possibly spray paint it black. Again, it was giving me like that fall feel, but also the Halloween-y looking feel with the kind of twiggy, branchy look. Oh, it's going to take so long to spray paint this though because of all of the different little crevices. So we will see, but this is really cute. I think it's going to be 
kind of like a centerpiece. I think it would be cute with lots of pumpkins in there. My Halloween video is going to be coming up any day, so you will see all of these items styled then. Another item that you will see styled in my Halloween decor is this little beauty. I was definitely going to bring this one home when I saw it. There was just something about it. It was super cute. I was hoping they had another one, but they didn't. All of these chicken napkin rings. And right now I just kind of took them off of the tape and tied them onto this twine. I already have a set of the white and red chicken napkin rings so I don't know if I will keep these. I may keep them and do like a really cute bowl filler or I may take these down and put them in my booth. Getting into more of the chicken decor. I grabbed up this guy right here. Oh, $5.99 and this is going to be one of those craft projects but I don't know if I'm going to keep it for me or keep it and then sell it or make it and sell it. But what I'm going to do is put like Christmas bulbs, ornaments in all of these little holes, like glue them in there. Isn't that going to be so adorable? I don't know if I will leave it this black or paint it a different color, but I do know I am going to glue the round Christmas bulbs. More chickens. So I got both of these. Love that there was a matching pair. I love the older looking metal. These are like little candle holders, little tea lights. And then they have little rings on the top where you can hang them. You can see that right there. I don't know if I'm going to keep these either. They are so adorable. I may put them out around the coop area come spring and summer. I may do them into a craft project. I may see if we can do some kind of a hole on the bottom and then stick them in the ground and do them like a craft project like that. I may take them how they are down to my booth. I've got a lot going on going on in my mind with all of the changes. I've got my booth. I've got our home. I've got Halloween. I've got craft ideas. So just lots going on but I will keep you posted on all of these things. This picture here though I know I'm going to keep. Luke our lab I always refer to myself as the mommy with him and so I thought this was adorable. This is probably going to go on my gallery wall in the living room and it says I'm the mommy. That's why and it's got the hen on here with her little chicks. It is so kitschy. Love all the colors on here. So this one is definitely staying with me and going to go on my gallery wall. This here is definitely going to be a craft project. It was only $2.99. This cloche right here. I know these are really popular to do different designs and scenes inside of them. So that is what I intend to do with this little guy. So he will be a lot of fun. I did also grab this red toolbox and this is going to be another project, another craft. If you missed my announcement video, I keep talking about crafts because that is something that I'm going to be doing in the future. I'm going to be selling some of them in my vintage booth, but also traveling to different craft shows and taking thrifted items and flipping them or turning them into something else. So that is what I'm talking about with the craft projects if you are new here. But I snatched up this red heavy metal toolbox and I think I'm going to paint something on here. Um, maybe do a display, open it up and put a display inside of the toolbox with the, let me see if I can show you here. Oop with like the back of it open like that. My hubby actually had a, a good idea. He said I could actually paint maybe Santa's toolbox on the front and put like some fun toy type ideas in here. So I have a couple of more things to show you but I will have to take you off the tripod for these because they are bigger. And one of them is something that I have wanted and hope to find and I'm really excited about it. This guy right here was too cute to pass up. He had a few little things that needed to be fixed on him. One of them was this little spot right here that I fixed with some black paint. And then this was coming off right here and hubby put that back on for me. So he's going to go in my booth for sale and he is adorable. And my booth is in the Smith & Company Vintage Market in Marietta, Ohio. And then the item I have wanted for so long was a black tree and I cannot tell you how excited I am to have this tree. Now I don't know how much it's going to be decorated this year. Oh, it's going up. But I don't know how much it will be decorated because I haven't really 
been preparing to have one. I think I would like to put some leaves in it and some different things along those lines. So maybe they still have some things in the store. I'm not sure, but I am so excited about this black Christmas tree. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Let me know your favorite item that I found down in the comments below. I would love to hear. And do you have a black Christmas tree? I would love to hear if you have a tree that you decorate for Halloween and what you might put on it to give me some ideas of how I might pick up some things to decorate mine. So I'm really excited about it. Let me know your ideas down in the comments and I will talk to you all soon.